Air Traffic Control ATC, ensures safe and orderly movement of air traffic, guiding aircraft during the takeoff, landing, and throughout their flight paths. It prevents collisions and provides critical information to pilots. I'm an air traffic controller. Uh, currently, I'm working as a radar approach air traffic controller at Kenneth Kaunda International Airport. Um, radar, it's all about the departing aircraft and arriving aircraft, able to assign them um, the specific levels for them to descend uh, safely and also to depart uh, safely. And thereafter, I hand them over to the area control. ATC is structured in three uh, segments. Um, the number one is uh, aerodrome or tower, which is commonly much uh, known by the public or the flying community, uh, which is the tower. And the tower is only responsible for aircraft on the ground and those which are flying up to 5,000 feet. Thereafter, they come to my section, which is approach. And approach takes it up all the way to flight level 245 or 24,000 feet then thereafter to area control. So area control, they're in charge of the upper airspace, I'm in charge of the middle airspace, and also area control, they're in charge of those coming from airports or airstrips which are not um, are controlled, where there are no air traffic controllers or you're departing from your farm, you call first area control. Then once you enter my airspace, then I under it all the way up to tower to 5,000 feet for London. As air traffic controllers, we make sure that uh, planes are move from one destination to another destination safely. So every time uh, there's a plane passing overhead, uh, your home or wherever, just so there's an air traffic controller seated somewhere talking to that um, aircraft to guide it to safety or to guide it to is our intended destination as safely. So on a day-to-day -day basis, we serve uh, the military, uh, the private and commercial airlines. And um, for the commercial airlines, we have uh, the international and uh, domestic airlines. When I'm here in the control tower, I have to look at the people who are looking for services from me, that is pilots and the ground handling staff. If, for instance, traffic is coming from Lusaka, I'll be given estimates by Lusaka that there's this and that traffic that is coming here and to end up into the tower. So before that traffic lands, I'll inform the ground handling staff that we have such and such an aircraft or aeroplane that is coming in to land so that they position themselves to prepare where it will be parked. If there's any other conflicting traffic, I'll provide separation minimas so that those traffic do not collide or meet by any chance. If an aircraft decided to take off on its own without the clearance from an air traffic controller on ground, it's likely to meet another aircraft without knowing that that aircraft is moving at a certain altitude or height of which maybe itself would be desiring to fly at. As a result, they are likely to collide or crash. smooth operations we use uh, radio communication and uh, there should be a two-way communication between the controller and the pilot. Radios to communicate with our people on ground to advise them of the movements that we are having or the timings that traffic is likely to land our airport. So there are direct lines we use and there are mobile phones and the walkie-talkies. Apart from that one there's another radio which comprises of a mic which I'm able to communicate with the pilot and when the pilot communicates to me, I'm able to get them. And also we have the most important component, which is a VSAT for those, uh, our neighbors in the region, we're just able to press the button and able to talk to Arare so that we share to understand what levels are available for me to climb the aircraft. Apart from that, if uh, the radio goes off, we use also the visual signals, which are in tower, we have the OD slam which we use to give the video signals to the aircraft for it to land or depart or stop, um, descent or to be able to make an orbit. Then there's an artist. An artist is an equipment whereby certain information which I'm supposed to transmit to a pilot repeatedly, I can 
fuse it into the artist and when the pilot asks about that information, I'll just be able to ask the pilot to tune in to the frequency of the artist and get all the data. Then there's also the AOAS. AOAS is an automatic weather station where I'm able to get the ground speed and direction together with the temperature and pressure reading. Those are some of the requirements that the pilot would re request as is due for takeoff or landing, especially wind direction and speed. As an air traffic controller, we have um, uh, a number of equipment that we use, but I'll concentrate on uh, the radar equipment. So with radar, it's an equipment that enhances uh, the way we get to work and um, the safe was enhanced, the capacity for the flights were enhanced in the sense that um, we used to handle less traffic because of uh, the separation and minima that are required when you are working as a procedure controller, where you need a 20 nautical miles between two aircraft, if they're departing and the one ahead and the one behind. But with radar, you just need a five nautical miles. And um, also, you get to see um, who you are talking to the flight, and uh, when you issue an instruction, you'll be able to see like they're complying with the, what's being uh, said. <laughs> Air traffic control is uh, the second most stressful job in the world, apart from the, the first being the fighter pilot. And ATC, ATC air traffic control becomes the second. And there's a lot of stress um, because you're dealing with uh, people's lives. You don't have um, time or luxury to even uh, play with your phone or whatever. As a air traffic controller, dealing with emergencies are part of my job and um, we get to expect uh, emergencies uh, from time to time. I've witnessed situations whereby two traffic are coming or desiring to come and land here and are having the same timings. I have a challenge of who to allow to be number one. At times I've had a situation whereby we are using one runway and maybe two of the aircraft, the other one wants to land the opposite runway and the other one wants to land the usable runway. I have to sit down and think of what to do. For an air traffic controller, you need to be smart and sharp and uh, be able to make decisions as quick as possible because we deal with very fast machines, so you have to make decisions in split seconds where if you delay for that, you might, you might not reverse that decision. Um, and also as an air traffic controller, you need to be really knowledgeable about the airspace, the geography of the country, so that you really know what directions are they coming to. And also you need to understand mathematics as well, because you really have to calculate the speeds, you have to calculate the vectors, you have to calculate the arrival time and departure time and be able to mix it that, wow, this is a faster machine, I have to reduce speed to this, but you have to reduce speed to a maximum safety so that the aircraft also does not drop. Because if I reduce with wrong uh, estimates or wrong calculations, uh, the aircraft can drop out of the sky. So you really have to take care of the safety component, which is the, the very cardinal thing. And uh, how I handle it is uh, simply by being myself, being composed every time, even if I'm facing a challenging situation, maybe there's an emergency, I have to remain composed as I can be. I have to remain sober and uh, reporting for work sober-minded every time. And immediately, once you're done with your shift or something, you really need to have proper rest for you to come back fully charged for the next shift. Um, it's quite stressful, but we, we do manage it by making sure you engage in activities which will at least boost your energy once you're off shift. Um, for example, I love reading and um, researching. Um, so that, that helps me to uh, relieve the stress. It's an exciting challenge as a controller. From the time I started being an air traffic controller, I think quicker. So as a result, my thinking capacity, my planning, my way of doing things is a bit different from the way I was. The class we have here, or well, the personnel or the air traffic controllers at Kenneth County International or in general Zambia Airport, which is the largest employer of air traffic controllers, is that it's world class. Uh, the training, the skills we have are world class. We're able to work at any position in the world based on the, the skills and the knowledge we have been imparted with. 
and also the training is just not restricted to our local academy. We are also uh, able to train with uh, international schools where we are able to also blend in the global air traffic uh, management systems. Someone watching wants to become an air traffic controller that you really need to know that the job is quite uh, an interesting job. Yes, it's one of the second most stressful jobs in the world, but again, it's the most exciting because you maintain the airspace, the Zambian airspace, to be safer. Just looking at the control rooms gives me that joy because I know when I sit, I will make sure that planes, passengers, they'll get to their destinations safely. And uh, it gives me so much joy. Each day has its own experiences and challenges that we get to handle. And uh, the fact that I'm in that position where I need to make decisions, take certain decisions to save a life, it's quite fulfilling. I would encourage the public to visit airports wherever they are, learn more of what goes on there. Thank you. Welcome to your gateway to possibilities. We're here to serve you. We're proud to keep you safe. We're happy to be part of your journey, providing a seamless process from start to end. We care about your experience as you travel through the Gateway to Possibilities. Keep flying.